Hey guys, this is Gorax. Today is 21st day on EU63 server. But before we go there, I would like to read the notice uh, of the new week's events. And I also would like to welcome you guys to a Discord server. I'll put uh, the link in the description if you want to uh, get in direct con contact with me or any of my experienced uh, colleagues. Please uh, do join us. Okay, so let's uh, go through the next week's events. So it's going to be a Rampart week. Uh, so we'll do we'll have a uh, the regular login one. So we'll have a couple of uh, unit charts and five charts of a hero reland. Uh, we'll have a daily top up including a vampire, uh, the under king staff. Uh, we'll have a rampart special offer. So we'll be able to buy uh, daily packages from rampart uh, faction. One dime, uh, one diamond pack. Uh, so this is a very standard. Missions will have ranger mission uh, as well, which is uh, you do uh, the usual uh, missions like uh, like um, uh, getting twenty tokens from a faction, refreshing a hero's uh, masteries five times, using talents five times, stuff like that on the June 14th and we'll be able to get ranger medals which you'll exchange for uh, green dragon tokens and some Ramper Faction unit soul stones as well as unique Ramper Faction treasure phantom component chest uh, we'll have double gold event, campaign celebration which is a 20 person discount when opening elf ch elven chest I don't uh, usually spend diamonds on that one Talent upgrade, so we'll need to upgrade uh, some units and in return we'll get uh, some uh, talent points, th talent potions. Uh, purchasing talent points, so you can purchase these talent points if you don't have them. Uh, so you, sh you should be uh, trying to get at least 200 of each uh, starting today because you'll need to spend 200 of each to uh, get all these uh, rewards from a uh, talent upgrade and then you will need to buy the talent potions. Uh, purchase artifact essence, so uh, we'll see how expensive the, they are. Limited time special offer, so a variety of artifact component chests are available during the limited time sale. Go to the shop and check them out. So this will be a shop where you can buy, a, for example, Dragon Father for like 6,000 or 7,000 diamonds. So if you are missing a piece, uh, you can get that or you can even get uh, other uh, artifact components as well. And then we'll have a single top-up offer that uh, is available on 17 June, which is a Wednesday. And when you top up a, a single purchase uh, during the uh, the event, you'll get that Druid unit. So it's a new unit, Elite Hero Pack, premium artifact component chest and more. So basically for 99 pound, uh, Euro, pounds, whatever currency you use, you'll be able to pick any hero you want or premium artifact component chest, which will be a Dragon Father or a Frost of the Sword, and also a Druid unit. Uh, let's go quickly see what the Druid skills are. So Druid is support back row troops, increase allied units DPS and provides immunity from magic damage. So the first skill, uh, that is a trigger skill, uh, after entering battle, the Druid summons a magic circle that Lasts for 10 seconds. All friendly units standing in the circle are immune to spell damage. So immunity for spell damage on your units in the circle for first 10 seconds of a battle. So he is good against uh, initial burst heroes like Solmer, uh, even uh, Sandro. Um, then we go outgrow, so increase druid attack by 20% and attack speed by 5%, which is obviously gonna increase with a uh, le uh, le skill level. I think. The same is going to happen about the immunity on, uh, it's going to increase the duration of it, I'm not sure though. Then we'll have a blessing of life, so the druid's units randomly generates a shield for 4 friendly units in the front row every 30 seconds that absorbs damage equal to 10% of max HP. Now it doesn't say max HP of the druid or max HP of the, ta of the front units, but if it's a front unit's max HP, this is going to be a quite huge shield, so it is quite handy. And then Heart of Nature, so this is a mistake in the uh, description, let's find the real one. 
Okay, so the fourth scale drew it in blast friendly units within a large area every 25 seconds, increasing the crit damage by 19% and crit hit by 190 over the next 15 seconds. The bonus doubles when the druid cast it the, for the first time. So if you cast it on your range units like wood elf, wooden elves and or Pegasus, he is going to they're gonna do uh, quite a lot of damage. However, the problem with Druid is it's a nine main unit, so um, I'm not sure how he is going to play out against Sandro, but if Pegasus doesn't shield him, he might die from a first spell. Well, if he casts Circle on himself, he will survive the first spell, however, the next implosion is just going to delete him. This is the problem with nine main units, and this is why Sandro is so strong at the moment. Okay, so this is a new unit, so let's continue with the notice. So then we got early challenges, so when you do underground levels, you'll get uh, fabulous rewards. They're not so fabulous, however, they are quite nice because you get them for free and you should be spending all your stamina on underground anyway. So they, it starts on June 17th, so all these free uh, energy bottles that you get every day now, you should keep them till uh, June 17th. And then we got life fest, so one additional underground stages, so these two go as well together. And Trial of Courage, so enjoy double exp in crypt, master explanation, so explore a good map and you'll get uh, rewards. So it's also good for free to play players. And then we'll have conflict celebration, so one extra conflict playing uh, challenge during the event, which is quite handy because you'll need these uh, conflict playing stones to uh, awaken your unit. So let's move on to uh, EU63 server. Just gonna do a quick overview of what's happened today. Um, we'll start with underground because I'll need to explain something to you guys. As you can see, we are not holding the Dragon Utopia. We could easily hold it. However, we made a deal with Vikings to uh, make sure everyone is benefiting from it. We made a deal that today they're gonna hold it, tomorrow at 5 uh, a.m. we will hold it for the rest of the day and we're gonna do it uh, every week, uh, every weekend following. We'll still fight against each other during Monday to Friday, however, to keep server alive and uh, to make everyone fair and prepare for Kingdom versus Kingdom battle. Uh, as well as a future content, uh, we will share the Dragon Utopia. We don't want uh, people to quit the game because we are big bullies. Um, that's why we will share it. And I suggest you should be doing that with, within your server as well. The reason for that is you will not win Kingdom versus Kingdom uh, battles if you, your server is not active. So if you kill your server, you'll have a problem uh, later on because there will be more uh, server versus server um, content released. And this is why we agreed to do it. When it comes to the leaderboard, I'm still rank 1, 842. Um, so let's move on to uh, what's happened. So my guild has two slots open. If you guys want to join, if you play on uh, EU63 and you're active, uh, you can uh, join us. Uh, we are, the only requirement is being active. Uh, we don't have any other requirements. Um, so let's see what else. Let's go through a PVE content first. So let's start with where I'm at world. So I'm still uh, missing a level. So I'm level 54 at the moment with uh, 508,000 uh, power. So I'm slowly getting a power every day. Um, I didn't bother with uh, uh, these uh, Trial of the Angels. I know that I'm lacking a little bit of power for that. So I'll need to get stronger. So I'm just sweeping and getting ready for this talent upgrade event. Uh, in the underground, I'm on uh, early stage 14, uh, 5. Um, I'm lacking a surf uh, survivability on my defensive units here. They die too quickly. If I uh, get that sorted, I will be able to move. I got enough DPS, just uh, my tanks die quite fast in the first couple of seconds. Um, so, what else? Let's move to uh, PvP content now. So in Duel of the Champions, um, rank 246. So I've moved a little bit compared to yesterday. 
and in arena i'm rank 137 i just swept arena today because i was really busy uh, being outside with my daughter today so i had no time to play the game uh, like at all uh, so let's go to the campaign i had to sweat uh, out the pve content i had to sweep sweep it again so i'm rank 60 and i'm rank 20 in dwarven treasury so i'm ga gaining a little bit on dwarven treasury um So let's see what else left for us. Uh, so let's go through the uh, leaderboards. Uh, just making sure I didn't miss on any of the events. So let's see how the server is doing overall. So Serafina is hundred eight uh, is a mil million uh, eighty eight thousand power. So it is going to slow down a little bit now without a significant inv investment. So these power rankings after a million are, are not going to be uh, changing a lot. Sir Cuthlef is slowly catching up to our uh, Russian guy and he's using Sandro as well. So we got another Sandro on our server and we got Xeron Foster. And apparently Fate is quite strong. So he's good. Uh, he was using Roland for most of the day and now he's, go he's getting uh, Xeron to foster so he is going to be painful i'm not sure how he, how he'll do against sandros because uh, we didn't we can't see a true potential of xeron yet with uh, the units we got available he will become stronger once we get a uh, new units released and also more uh, uh, infernal units awakened uh, unit wise we still got vampire everything is necropolis really uh then we got heroes so seraphi now with he his Sandro and Fate with his uh, Xeron. Um, as you can see, he's not he's not optimized his uh, masteries yet. He's just going for whatever's purple. Uh, so yeah. So guild wise, we rank number one with a five million power advantage over Vikings. However, we got two spots that we can easily fill in. Um, so star wise, Seraphina is at nine hundred. As, as yesterday in artifact power um 253 so again as you can see uh, i'm doing something better than most uh, than 100 guys because i'm low on artifact but i'm higher than them in the power uh, so it didn't change much uh, basically the guys are very close when it comes to the artifact power except for seraphine and fate as i said before it's going to slow down now uh, so he's got uh, power of the dragon as well by the way guys i've been asked where you can uh check the skills what these skills does see this exclamation mark here when you press it you get an, a longer description of uh the skill of the dragon not many people know about it so this is eu 63 let's just go through my units quickly so i got um, devil to plus three I just need levels to get all of that to pl all of my units to plus three and the formation I'm using I've been using today is pretty much the same. I just moved the units around as you can see I put uh, three tanks uh, here just to basically put, uh, make sure my pit friend keeps my uh, both demons alive to be able to uh, survive on that lane as much as possible I always move them about you can move all your units about depending on your enemy formation and this is the, the other these are the heroes that I own currently after Rashka four star I'll focus on Gelu to three four star and I shall be able to unlock um, Jedi tomorrow once I upgrade Jedi uh, he is probably going to be my uh, second main PvP hero for the PvE content, that is Dragon Invasion, and I still got a video to prepare for you guys how to prepare for Dragon Invasion and what units to run when you're starting on a new server. I should be able to do it uh, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how busy I am. Uh, so I'll show you how to prepare for that, and I should be able to unlock Solmer by the time I unlock Dragon Invasion. And it's really important to get this hero who's at the start of the server he will probably be your best choice for dragon invasion so i believe this is it for today i'll see you guys tomorrow enjoy your uh day bye